Welcome to Cranbrook Art and Science on the Go Sparking Innovation video tutorial series designed to help you and your students continue programming with the Arduino and Grove Starter Kit. This tutorial will cover how to install the ArduBlock software to simplify programming the Arduino using a graphical interface. This assumes that you have already installed the basic Arduino software and ensured you can upload a sample program. If you have not, Please see our previous tutorial. Now let's install ArduBlock onto the computer. ArduBlock is a user-friendly programming environment for the Arduino. Instead of needing to type out all the programming instructions, users can simply drag and drop blocks of code onto the programming desktop and fit the blocks together like a puzzle to develop their code. Start the Arduino software on your computer. At the menu, at the top of the window, click File and then Preferences. A window will pop up that will show you where the sketchbook is located on your computer, usually within your default Documents folder. Open up the folder listed as your sketchbook location using your computer's File Explorer. You should see a directory within it called Tools. If it does not exist, you can create it. Now open the Tools directory. Copy the RGBlock tool folder found on the CD you were given into the Tools directory on your computer. You will need to restart the Arduino software. Ensure that the serial port is set to the second COM listed. You will find this under the Tools menu. You should now see an ArduBlock option under the Tools menu at the top. Select it to start the ArduBlock software. The tools included in your CD have been edited to match the components in your Groove Starter Kit. If you purchase additional components, you can use the generic pins in the pin drawer, or you may want to add pins from the RGBlock website. The workspace used to build your code should already contain a loop block. All instructions will need to be placed inside the loop for the Arduino to recognize them. On the left side of the window, we have drawers that contain different blocks that can be placed within the loop to create the program. Along the top, we have buttons that allow us to create or save files, upload the program to Arduino, or monitor what the Arduino is doing. We can try building a test program to make sure ArduBlock is installed correctly. In your ArduBlock environment, select the LED block under the Outputs drawer. Change the pin number to 13. Connect it to the loop block by matching the notches in the upper left-hand corner. We will go into greater detail on the function of each block in a later tutorial. Find the delay block under the time drawer. Fit it below the LED block. Get another LED block and fit it below the delay block. Change the pin number to 13 and change the status to off. Fit one more delay block under the second LED in the loop. Your first code now reads, turn the LED at pin number 13 on, delay for one second, turn the LED at pin number 13 off, delay for one second. At the top, there is a button marked Upload to Arduino. Click this button. Once the program is uploaded, we will see that the light will repeatedly blink on for one second and off for one second. We can now tell that the RGBlock software is working correctly. If we look behind the scenes by clicking on the other Arduino window, we should be able to see the program as it is written out in a text-based code. RGBlock translates its code into this program first, and then the program is sent to the Arduino. 
To stop the LED from blinking and upload a blank program to the Arduino, simply take all the information out of the loop block. You should now have an empty loop on your desktop. Upload the empty loop to Arduino. Thank you for taking the time to install the ArduBlock program. Sparking Innovation is a program of Cranbrook Art and Science on the Go, built to teach students about computational thinking and interactive art through hands-on projects in physical computing and programming. Funding is provided by the Herbert H. and Grace A. Dow Foundation. We hope you enjoy coding with your students.